this evening, we continue to bring you more on a food drive held by students looking to give back to the community. While News 12's Jericho Tran is at Restoration Plaza as that fresh produce makes its way into the hands of community members who need it the most. A community coming together. <laughs> as the city's youngest give back the most. And this means helping and serving people that are like my family and for like low income communities and I have a lot of family and friends who are low income. Today's effort is all part of a student community engagement requirement called Project Impact. We're here to really just give back to the community and have our young people understand how important it is, especially in this time of the year, especially the, with um, everything in this kind of uncertain times. The food drive held by the Office of Equity and Access Student Support Services is also sending a strong message to the community. That, that is awesome for folks to see that bed is not just about gun violence. Yeah, we know bed do or die, but it's, it's more than just that. And with the holiday season in full swing as COVID cases start to rise, today's giveaway was important for people receiving the food. Because a lot of people are out of work, you know, and they don't get stamps. Some people are fortunate, some, some of them not even eligible for stamps. So all of this food helps, it really helps. Now, as you can see, students have quite the setup here. We've got bags full of items. Guys, show me what you've got. I see bok choy, apple, carrot, mango. I'm not sure what that is. is it a, it's a potato, <laughs> a really big potato, cabbage, zucchini, and cucumber. So there's a lot in these bags. Now, organizers tell me that this is a great way for students to learn about engagement and advocacy in the community. In bed -Stuy, Jericho Tran. Can I get a new swell, guys? News 12! News 12! <laughs>